Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Saratoga Racecourse here on Friday. It is the 26th of August, 2022. Going to look at the stakes races on the program, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for racecourses around the world, and join me tomorrow for my Travers preview from Saratoga. I'm actually, hopefully, hopefully I can get my Travers preview up uh, later tonight. I did look at the races uh, Wednesday after the uh, the, the uh, past four came out and um, I have done with the card I have some time today so hopefully we'll get that video up uh, late tonight but um, this Friday card from Saratoga it's you know it's the upstate edition of the New York uh, stallion showcase day that they usually have in the fall and spring at Belmont and uh, you know it, it, it's an okay card not the best in the world um, I, I do think the turf races are much the best but uh, uh, let's look at this, the, the action um, races one three five seven eight and ten so the first race it's to seeking the anti stakes it's going for a purse of two hundred thousand dollars race for two-year-old fillies state breads field of five horses heading to the main track the distance of ground of 1300 meters or the distance of ground of six and a half furlongs on the saratoga main track 1300 meters six and one half furlongs here in the seeking the anti my top selection, I'm going to go to the rail horse, to the one horse who is Song Parody. I'm going to go 1523 in the Superfecta. 1523 Super, top selection, one horse, Song Parody, two affiliated by Practical Joke. Manny Frank goes on this one for Christophe Clement. The horse's most recent outing under the previous care of Kelly Breen came at Belmont, 25th of June, five furlongs main track, and a main special weight 75,000 for state breads. And the horse went by five and a half lengths and basically broke like a quarter horse that day on the front and all throughout. He just kept going an all-around good race training well here at saratoga probably won't get as easy lead as the horse got last time out i'm gonna see a lot more horses probably improved but i think he can really run a good race off of that number and run well here today work at parents well i'm gonna give this horse a shot with the five horse miracle two of by mendelson rudolph Brissett trends flavian pratt gets the mount most recently they ran the horse 27th of july here at saratoga six strongs and main special weight for state breads winning by six again on the front and all throughout this horse really put on a show and kept going i like the work at parents since the last race, he's been getting better. At 2-1, to one, let's use his horse in the pick 5. To recount my selection for the opener from Saratoga, it is the Seeking the Ante. Let's take the one-horse song parody. Give kudos to the five-horse miracle. 1-5-2-3 super. 1-5 in your multi-race. The third race from Saratoga now. It is the featured Albany Stakes. It's going for a purse of $250,000. Races for three-year-olds here. State breads. We have a field of five horses going to the main track. The one lap around, which is 1,800 meters in circumference. Or the mile and the eighth trip on the Saratoga main track. 1,800 meters, a mile and the eighth here in the Albany. My top selection, I'm going to go with the one horse here, price discipline. Let's go 1 4 3 5 in the Super Facta. 1 4 3 5 Super. Top selection, one horse, price discipline. Three year old Colt by Overanalyze. Chad Brown trends one for Clarevish Stables. Flavian Pratt gets the mount. The horse's most recent out came 20th of July at Saratoga. Mon Lath on the slop and a Stapert Lounge race 95,000. Went by two and a half lengths. He stalked early on. He slowly moved his way up and he kept going. A very good race for him there. A Around two turns for the first time, going to the next logical steps. State bread stakes horses, a little tougher spot, but he has the speed to win here. I think he could really improve off that last run. Two back here on 30th of June at Belmont, mile 16th in allowance race 80,000, and the horseman is second by head that day. And he sat back early, he slowly moved his way up, but he just couldn't get there. He ran his heart out though, at 45 cents a dollar. By the way, just looking at Belmont, a mile 16th dirt race. Um, basically, we won't see another mile on the 16th dirt race in New York until basically next April, late April, early May next year when Belmont reopens, because you have to remember, we're going from Saratoga to Aqueduct now for the next uh, half a year or so in nine months, and uh, you know, there's there's no mile 16th races on the dirt at Aqueduct, um, unless they, they card them with the uh, quick run to that first turn, which I highly doubt, or alternate finish, but uh, that's something we're going to be missing here in the, uh, the next few months in New York, but... Um, that day on the 30th of June, he just he just couldn't get there from the back of the pack. And then before that, he ran 29th of May at Belmont, one mile in state bread, main special weight, went by four and a quarter lengths. On the, you know, setting back early, he didn't break so well. He was stupidly wide, but he got the job done after all said and done. I like the work of patterns. I'm going to use him here along with the one horse's Boris. He won the New York Derby at the Finger Lakes very, very easily by four a few weeks ago. And before that, he ran an okay fourth in the uh, this Ohio Derby, but he might need the run there. Come back here to a mile and eighth. I'll give this horse a shot. I 
at 8 to 5. But to recap my selection for the third from Saratoga, it is the Albany. Let's take the one horse price discipline. Give kudos to the four horse Baris. One, four, three, five, super. One, four in your multi race. The fifth race now from Saratoga. It is the Fleet Indian Stakes. It's going for a purse of $200,000. Races for three year olds here. Phillies. Field of five horses going to the main track. One lap around again, which is 1,800 meters in circumference, or the mile and eighth trip on the Saratoga main track. 1,800 meters, mile one eighth here in the Fleet Indian. My top selection, I'm going to go with the number four horse here at Galaxina. I'm going to go 4 2 5 1 in the Superfecta. 4 2 5 1 Super, top selection of four horse Galaxina. 3 0 filled by Giant Surprise. Uh, James Harrell brought Bond trans this one. Dylan Davis gets the mount. The horse is most recent on came to New York Oaks at the Finger Lakes, a mile 16th on 25th of July. And the horse went by three quarters length. From the rail, he didn't have the best of trips. He was bumping a few times. He got to the front and he got the job done. It was a very gritty performance, but it was a major improvement off the race before it came to the New York Stallions of Belmont. Seven frongs on the wider turf course, 29th of June. He finished the eighth by nine lengths and just wasn't handling the turf. Really never got a good handle of it. Completely hit the wall. Put an X through that race. If you put an X through that race, the horse hasn't run half bad at all. Going to a mile and eighth, which I think this horse really wants with longer run to the um with the uh, longer stretch run. I think this horse could grind it out to a very good victory here today. Um, this horse is a winner of three races. One going six and a half in New York Stallions in April at Aqueduct very nicely by a length of twenty four and a half to one. And one before that, thirty cents a dollar on the twenty sixth February at Aqueduct, seven furlongs in main special weight, winning by one quarter lengths on the front and all throughout. Really, really put on a show. I like the horse stepping up in class here at eight to one i'm going to use her you can't throw out the um the two horse either fin fingles uh cave the th three year old filled by carpe diem david donk trains jose ortiz gets the mount i love the victory a few weeks ago here in the lounge race going a mile and eighth uh winning by three and a half lengths on the front and all the route even with some quick fractions the horse really won quite nicely and then before that belmont and a state run allowance race winning by nine again really could have won by more but it was a very easy run has done everything right in the short offering stepping up in class at four to five we have to give this horse kudos on the late on the early pick five um but to recap my selection for the fifth from saratoga it's the fleet indian let's take as a top selection a four horse Galaxina. Give kudos to the two horse Fingles Cave. Four two five one super. Four two in your multi race. The seventh race from Saratoga. It is the funny side stakes. It's going for a purse two hundred thousand dollars. Race for two year olds here. State brides. Field of six horses going to the main track. The distance of ground of thirteen hundred meters, or the distance of ground of six and a half furlongs on the Saratoga main track. Thirteen hundred meters, six and a half furlongs in the funny side. My top selection, I'm going to go with the number four horse here, Anamio Alfrenz. I'm going to go 4 5 1 2 in the Superfecta. 4 5 1 2 Super. Top selection, the, um, excuse me, I'm going to go with the four horse, Donegal Surges. Excuse me, the four horse, Donegal Surges. I'm going to go 4 5 1 2 Super. 4 5 1 2 Super. Don't know where my head was for a second. The four horse, Donegal Surges, my top selection. We're also using the five horse, Anamio de Friends. Got to stop looking at these notes. That's, um, you, you know, I should just throw them out. Uh, the top selection of four horse, Donegal Surges. Two year by Candy Ride. Top Fletcher trains when Jose Ortiz gets them out. The horse is most recent. Anakin, the 11th of August, Saratoga. Six, six furlongs in the state bred main special weight. Went by five and a half lengths. The horse didn't have the best beginnings. Didn't have a lot of forward really pace, but settled well. He slowly moved his way up, and he got the job done going away. That was a very good race circling the field. You know, he ran like a turf horse, um, which is kind of interesting because they did try him on the turf um, for workouts. Um, you know, he had workouts on the turf on the 20th of July and then on the 22nd of July at Saratoga. Uh, then last uh, before last run, they gave him a half-mile workout 40 flat from the gate on the main track. Fifth best workout 51. So he has the speed if he wants to use it, I think. But uh, coming here today, coming back to dirt. State bred horses, stakes quality horses, winners. I'm going to give him a shot here today. I think he's a versatile type. I think he could show some speed off those workout patterns. We're also going to use that five horse, Ademio de Friends. The Stiro Colt by Spice Town. Kelly Breen trains this one. I ride it to gets the mount. Most recently, they ran the horse in the Sanford here at Saratoga. Six furlongs on the 16th of July, where the horse finished third by three and three quarter lengths there. And he just sat off a very fast um, pace that day, which kind of caused him. He was just a little bit flat late. But before then, third June, five and a half furlongs on the slop and a state bred main special weight. Winning by four on the front and all throughout. Could have won by more, but I ride eased up the horse. 
I thought it was a very good race. He's trading wickedly fast um, here at Saratoga. It wouldn't surprise me if he steals out on the front end. Four to five. Let's use his horse to end the late pick five also. But to recap my selection for the seventh from Saratoga, it is the funny side stakes. Let's take as a top selection the four horse Donical Surges. Give kudos to the five horse Animayo de Ferenz. Four, five, one, two, super. Four, five in your multi race. Now the eighth race from Saratoga. These final two races, I think, are the most competitive races on the program, the turf races. But the eighth race, it is the Yato Handicap. It's going for a purse $200,000. Race for Phillies and Mayors, three year olds and upwards. Again, state breads. 12 horses are entered, but the 12 horses in MTO, so 11 will head to the inner turf course. The distance of ground is 1,700 meters, or the distance of ground of mile 1 16th on the Saratoga inner turf course. 1700 meters of mile 1 16th here in the Yado. My top selection, I'm going to go with the number five horse here, Runaway Rumor. I'm going to go five, seven, nine, ten in the Super Facto. Five, seven, nine, ten Super. Top selection of five horse, Runaway, runaway Rumor. This four year old filled by Flincher. Jorge Abreu trains this one. Flavian Pratt gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing came the Dr. James Penny at Parks, mile 16th and 12th of July. And the horse went fourth by three and three quarter lengths that day. He just kind of stalked and just never quickened up. I do think he needed the race. Also, that turn. Of course, our parks it plays very weird at times. Uh, and this season, no exception. Uh, no exception. Come back to Saratoga where the horse run decently in the past. I think this horse could really run a good race. At times in the last year, I do think they were running the horse in very tough competition spots. I do think facing state breads, it's a little bit of a step down class. And I think with a good trip today, this horse could get a good run. Two back run the Mount Vernon and a Belmont, one mile the Widener turf course, 30th of May. And the horse finished fifth by five and a half lengths that day. He was just very wide and never really got there. Um, should have did a lot better than she did. And then before then, the Bugay at Belmont, a mile 16th, 14th of May. The horse finished fifth by four and three quarter lengths. Again, just was flat there. Ran in the uh, Hillsboro at Tampa this summer, this winter, where the horse, again, just faced two tough competition. Hasn't won since the wild applause at Belmont, one mile the 26th of June of 2021. Went by a half length, closing up from nowhere. I thought the horse ran terrifically that day came back to run on okay fourth in the uh, lake george and a very good second place finish in last year's lake placid and a decent third in the pebbles last fall and a very good second in the sands points had a very good fall campaign just wasn't winning um coming here today i like to see this horse a little bit more competitive into the run five to one speed in the, the the speed on the inner turf course usually does well but except this meeting where the closes are doing decently at five to one i'm gonna give this horse a shot i think the seven horse marvelous mod i think is your second likeliest winner first First time stakes quad of horses has been running decently. One of her last two, one at Saratoga, one at Belmont. It was run decent numbers. I'm going to give this horse at three to one a shot on the late pick four. But to recount my selection for the 8th from Saratoga, it's the Yato Handicap. Let's take the 5-horse runaway, runaway Rumor. Give kudos to the 7-horse Marvelous Mod. 5, 7, 9, 10 Super. 5, 7 in your multi-race. To the 10th race now from Saratoga. It is the West Point Stakes. It's going for a purse $200,000. Um, races for 3-year-olds and upwards here. We have a field of 10 horses entered. But the 10 horses in MTO, so 9 will head to the Melling Turf Course, the distance of ground of 1,700 meters, or the distance of ground of a mile 1 16th on the Saratoga Melling Turf Course. 1,700 meters, a mile 1 16th. My top selection here, I'm going to go with the number 7 horse here, cross border. Let's go 7 3. 1 5 in the Superfecta. 7 3 1 5 Super. Top selection 7 horse cross border. 8 year old Ridgeling by English Channel. Mike Maker trains this one. Um, Kendra Carmouche gets the mount. The horse's most recent out came 31st July here at Saratoga. Mouth rates in the bowling green. And the horse finished fifth by four lengths that day. Didn't break so well. You know, just a little out of it most of the race. And just couldn't get into it. Usually he likes his turf course, but it was very flat there. It was a very tough goal, um, bowling green, so maybe just couldn't keep up with the horses. Back to State Bridge where the horse really run well in the past. I'm going to give him another shot. Two back at Belmont, mile 16th into Kingston on 30th of May. He finished fourth by two three uh, two and three quarter lengths there, and again, he didn't break so well. He was a little bit wide, but he did move a little bit late. He showed potential, and then before then, the Cup, Kentucky Cup Classic at Turfway, mile 8th in the Tapita, 2nd of April. He finished fourth by seven lengths that day. He was really 
really closing up well, but he had a little bit of a tough trip on that outside post drought. And then I thought it ran decently in that Pegasus Turf Cup at uh, Goldstream, about a mile and eighth. He finished fifth by one three quarter lengths. Was really closing up well late. He outran his 71 to one odds that day, definitely from the stupidly wide post draw. And then he won the Prairie Bayou at uh, Turfway last uh, December very, very easily. He likes running on this turf course. He's nine and six here at Saratoga. He um, won the Bowling Green last season. Came back to a decent third place finish in last year's Sword Dancer. And then um, won quite a few times the season before. At nine and two, I'm going to use him. I'm also going to use the three horse, some like a hop round. This six year old horse by Big Brown. Cozy Ortiz gets the mount. This horse is always going to be remembered in my uh, my mind as a two year old uh, when he won a race when they ran it at the wrong distance. Uh, I think the race was originally scheduled for like a mile and a sixteenth, and they accidentally ran it at a mile and an eighth. Um, and, he, and he won it quite easily. Uh, but a whole other horses just weren't getting the mile and eighth trip. Um, by the way, in the, by the way, in the condition book next week at Saratoga, I think there are two races for a uh, two year olds going a mile and eighth in the dirt. So those are fun races to always look at. But um, that's off subject. But um, some like it hop round. Most recently, they ran the horse in the lower at Saratoga, going a mile 16th, where he finished six by four and a half lengths there. And the speed just wasn't holding up there, which is a thing here at Saratoga on the dirt, on the turf this season. Before that, in the Schaefer at um, at Indiana, going a mile 16th, he finished third by three and a quarter lengths. And he ran way too fast in the front end, 109 and three to two to two uh, three quarters really cost him there he hasn't won since the mohawk last november at aqueduct uh, at belmont where he won very very easily he likes running on this turf course i'll give him a shot here if the speed really holds up but i think um cross border is just very likely winner but to recap my selection for the 10th from saratoga it is the west point handicap let's take the seven horse cross border give kudos to the three horse some like it hop brown seven three one five super seven three in your multi-race so good luck to all please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five good luck everybody